This video demonstrates the copy assignment operator and also shows a reason for why we use the copy assignment operator. We have a program on the right and inside of main we declare two points. Each of the points has an x and a y value. I'm going to scroll up to that class point and the point class contains the x and y and those are both integer pointers. Okay, so p1 is set the values 5 and 2. So x is going to get set the value to 5 and y will get the value set to 2. And then we'll set p2 to be equal to p1. Intuitively, what we'd expect this assignment operation to mean is that p2's x points to 5 and p2's y will point to 2. That's what we would expect intuitively at least. And then p1 is set to 4 comma 4. So x is equal to 4, then y is equal to 4, and then we print out p1, and then we print out p2. Let's take a look at the program executing. And both p1 and p2 are outputting 4. That is not what we'd expect. We'd expect p2 to hold the value of 5, 2. But what's happening is the default behavior for an assignment operation is to copy the pointer locations, not the value in the pointer locations. And so P2, the X and Y of P2, are just pointing to the same memory location as the X and Y in P1. So if you change P1, the values of what P1's X and Y point to, then you're also changing the values of what P2's X and Y point to. So this is when we need to use a copy assignment operator. So let's go ahead and make one of those. So the return type of the copy assignment operator is the name of the class with an ampersand and then you have the word operator which is a keyword and the equal sign. So this is saying we're overloading the equal sign or the assignment operator and we're going to be passing in one argument which is a const of the class so point and then an ampersand and then I'm going to put right hand side or RHS to remind me that what's being passed into this operator is what's on the right hand side of the statement. So to the right of the assignment operator is the right hand side. Okay, so I'm going to copy this function declaration and I'll paste that. Now since this function, this operator overloading, is a member of the class point we need to show as such by adding point and then the scope operator before the operator and the assignment operator. Okay, now we're going to be returning the class point so what I will be returning for now will just be the data pointed to by this and this is the same this that we've been using for destructors for constructors. It's just a pointer to the class in question. Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll output a statement saying the copy assignment op has been called. So we can see this is taking effect. All right, let's compile the program again and execute. And here we have a different behavior. For one, the copy assignment operator has been called, so good sign. And we have P1 output being 4, 4, which is the expected value for P1. And then we have the values 0, 0, which is not the expected value for P2. What's happening? Well, the constructor for the class point defaults the value that x points to to 0 and the value that y points to also to 0. So when we see this output of 0, 0, we're really just seeing the default values created by the constructor. So what are we wanting to do in this copy assignment? Well, all we're really wanting to do is copy the value of this at x and assign this x to the value of the right-hand side's x. And that's all we're wanting to do. So let's compile and execute. Here we're getting a 5 which is good because that's what the x is, the value of x. So just to prove that that's correct, we could make this 56. And let's compile and execute. And there we've copied over the 56, which is the value that we had assigned with P1. And now during the 
copy assignment operation, we're also copying that 56 into the location pointed to by P2's x. So to finish this off, I'm going to copy the line of code that assigns x, and I'm going to replace the x with y so that we assign the value in y, compile, and execute. And there we are. Now we have the behavior that we had intuitively expected, but we had to go in and explicitly define. Thank you.